I went to the doctors to find, I didn't know it was thrush yet, I was just like, my throat really hurts, it's not healing. And he was like, alright, I'm gonna have to swab your throat. My mother was in the room with me. And I suddenly, re he was like, oh, do, this will make you choke a bit. And he's swabbing my throat and I'm like, I'm, and I'm like, oh god, I'm not joking, my mom's gonna know that I've been deep throated. That's how I pretended to choke on this swab. We've got someone who's basically a lesbian, we've got an asexual, and we've got a greedy bisexual. A Things range. I still don't know enough about. So. Lesbian safe sex. You can cut a condom open and use it as a dental dam. Oh. I knew that. I only found this out recently. I didn't, and I'm, I should know these I have. Like, I know my shit here. I will educate you guys. That is this video now. Um, also, like, drinking more aggressively. Let's <laughs> do it. I'm sorry, Sophie. But I mean, it's good to know. It's educational. It's, yeah. Also, you should give oral sex with some kind of progressive protection, including mm. blowjobs, but no one thinks about it and no one really does it. Yeah. I feel gets forgotten is your meant to protection when you're eating someone out and no one does. Yeah, it's, it's because misogyny. Because oh, there's this about, right. There we go. It's it's because guys going down on girls is sort of not something I really knew about until like later in my teenage life, I think. A week. Yeah. I know about blowjobs from like quite a young age, but you don't think about the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's why. And there's and also it's because of a lack of education for like lesbian sex and the porn industry where everyone thinks that scissoring works. Can confirm scissoring does, does not, not work. work. In case you were wondering, Sophie. STD testing is a thing, and on the note of trying. oral is, <laughs> if you have unprotected oral sex, you should go and get your throat swabbed, because you can get you can get STDs in your throat and mouth. Pep, get tested. Pep, the guy on Twitter had a girl's deep throat. I had my throat swabbed and nearly threw up. I got oral thrush. It just it just happened. Yeah. It does just happen. But obviously, you say that, and everyone's like, "Oh, you must have got it from eating someone out." I'm like, "No, it just happened to me." Thrush isn't exclusively an STD. I know, but you say that and people automatically go to that, but... So um, you say you got herpes. I... Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah exactly. I didn't want my mother to know that I was sucking dick! My parents assumed I was sucking dick when I don't suck dick. <laughs> Not sucking dick squad. It's kind of like Fight Club. What happens in this group stays in this group. That and I talk about boys and that. Gay. It's it's like Gay. it's like emotional support and boys and 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 networking and. It's important to have girls around you. Just in it's general. it's a very safe space and I appreciate girls are, it. Girls are good. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a massive gay. I got a bit overwhelmed by not having enough girls around, like last year. Aww. I'm glad you guys are here now. Pepper's not a girl. I know, like Pepper's super fem though, but, so yeah. like it's cool. It's fine. Bob doesn't really count. No, look at Bob this hedgehog. Bob's a hedgehog. <laughs> I mean, I was stuck with like four gay guys. My main gay white friends. friends <laughs> no, I love them all. I know. They are all great, but like, it's you need exhausting. girls. Girls are good. I might be able to give blood again soon. Oh my god. If three or four years? Yeah, oh, my, actually, how long is it with tattoos? Oh, and I've had a tattoo. It's only months with tattoos, though. Yeah, I think I might be able to give blood again. Yay! Hopefully, it will have to come with me. I'll be, able to. I'll be able to from May once the 12 uh, months after yeah. having slightly anemic, i.e. like one unit below the threshold. I'll have to come with you and hope, hopefully my anemia will be solid by then. Yeah. If this pill works. It's it's just dumb because it, it the stipulation is if you've had sex with a man that may have also had anal sex with another man and it's like Okay, but that's not the only way that th it's it's mostly like an AIDS concern left over from like the AIDS crisis in the eighties. But more straight people have it. Exactly, more straight people have it, and it's really archaic. And and like women can still get like women or uh, people with vaginas can still get HIV. HIV, which which I do not have. I got tested recently. I'm glad you don't which have it. I am also glad. <laughs> of, I'm also glad I got tested. Go and get tested. I'm gonna see if this get tested, kids. Wrap it before you tap it, kids. Rubber up for dad. <laughs> Please cut that out. Bad you know what? If it, I, I know it's a ridiculous thing and a ridiculous hashtag, but if it makes people and especially gives the impression to young people that they should be using condoms. Oh yeah, it's a good thing. And having safe sex, like Something about condoms in year ten or eleven, sex ed, and yeah. they brought in a load of condoms 
and plastic dicks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we were like supposed to put them on. Like, I just refused to touch any of it. I was <laughs> and Ross was like, Sophie, you need to learn this. This is important. I was like, no. It no, is important, I'm but not, it, not like, I, I will go I'm and get touching a penis. I could, I could literally lean over, get a condom, and show you both right now if you needed it. You don't have thing. to do it in front of like thirty people. Like it's important that's to know how only, to do this. That's is the, the only thing. issue with like school sex ed is people get shy and won't do the thing. I'm actually still kind of shy. Like I still rely on the person with the penis to put the condom on and watch them do it so I know they're doing it properly because I know how to do it but I get, I I get really shy about it. <laughs> I know the theory. <laughs> it is not as difficult. I know it's the theory of many things. Yeah. But no, like it was it was year nine when we, because it was we had a health week at my school and my science teacher the week before found out that we had not had our sex ed and I got barely any sex ed going through high school. I taught myself everything I know pretty much. She so we got loads. She went, you guys haven't had sex ed, right, you, next, in health week, I'm, I am doing this lesson, you guys need to know, you're year nine now, it's important, because in my school we're starting to sleep with each other from like year nine upwards, and then oh, as we got, most. well as we got older, it was younger and younger. We were an all girls grammar school. I was just We a, were the exception and not the rule, can confirm. <laughs> yeah, you guys had amazing sex ed. I'm pretty sure we were the exception. And we did have excellent sex ed, so if people were sleeping with other people on the slide, it's not like we'd have had any real accidental teen pregnancies and things like that. Like, even we though did. even though our school was awful for like queer sex ed, everywhere's awful for queer mm. sex ed, but other than that, they covered most things, and they covered consent, which most people places don't. I remember they had a yeah. video about pregnancy and yeah. giving birth that yeah. we were supposed to watch oh, in year seven. seven. I was actually away when we were supposed to watch that. like watching a beach ball come out of cunt. <laughs> and she, she, generally whenever I miss a week at school she'd be like, but it's important, you have to be there to <laughs> learn these things. And it's like, Emily, I've literally helped sheep and cows give birth. Mm. I kind of know the you process. You know the theory. Like, well, no, it's this not going to make any difference if you are giving birth either if you've seen it happen. It's this still going to hurt a lot. Though, like, in the year nine science lesson, which I remember because there is nothing funnier to year nine than your cis female science teacher sort of wandering around the classroom going, where should I put my penis down? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was too young to know any better. She did go over the different forms of con contraception with us. I didn't, she didn't go over them in much detail because we didn't have the time. Obviously I was looking into contraception a few months back and realized that I knew like, nothing about it and how bad the side effects were and I, I did I just didn't know. We went through them all, well not all, but the majority in quite some depth. Like not loads, but we knew the basic idea of them, we knew how they worked. Mm. Yeah. It's probably because we were an all girls school. Yeah, I think that made it easier. A lot of it is, it's seen as a woman's responsibility because mm. it's, most of it is focused around not getting pregnant and there's less exactly. of that focus around, well. around the STD side. Well, also, so, yeah. I think with us being year eleven, he was pregnant when we started. Yeah, she sat at GCSEs with a baby. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Good for her. That's Shouldn't be treated like a scandal. It's not a scandal. Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry it's, awesome. it's not really. And accidents can happen to anyone. And if oh, you, absolutely. And if you don't know where to go, if accidents do mm. happen, inevitable. Mm. <laughs> I'm really impressed that she's still at her GCSEs and school She came back her. and did A-levels, she just took a year out. That's amazing. Um, I can't remember you telling me about She them. was tutoring someone I knew for maths and they were getting really stressed about their GCSE maths and she was like, look, I sat mine with a baby, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I think this has all happened before Hannah went on her campaign to get revenge porn made illegal. Yeah. Honestly, I'm glad that I was friends with Hannah to, and to see her do that. Mm. Because thinking about it growing up, that happened to a lot of people I knew and it just didn't... It was becoming more of a thing as the internet got bigger. It, mm. it did become a huge problem and like it still is a huge problem but at least it's illegal now and there's a legal process you can go through a positive. Also people in general seem to be better about it. I think it... What was happening as we were growing up because the internet was blowing up what would have used to have been petty bitching between people oh this person had sex with this person mm. did this suddenly there was physical evidence of it and it could be used against people um and i it's, mean it's still fucking horrific and should never be done that's i don't care kind of what don't happened know. with youtube yeah because honestly i think i vaguely remember it happening when i was at the young end of being into youtube mm -hmm. and it sort of happened 
a person got either arrested or ousted or whatever. Yeah. And then it was, it blew over. Whereas now, we're still kind of dealing. I think it's because the first time you hear about things happening, it's a one-off. It's one person, it's an isolated incident. Yeah. And then suddenly all these people were doing yeah. awful things. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know. I'd like... I know. I forgot to take my meds today. You should do that. I should do that. Take your meds if you've forgotten. <laughs> Take your meds, kids. Yeah. Take this seat. Oh no, it. Sophie. Oh, okay. Bob Snails. Okay, safe yeah. sex, guys. Bye. 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 I'll put links to their things in the description. No, don't do that. Don't, 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 don't do listen that. Listen to their music. Okay, yeah, do that. Buy my music. I'm poor. <laughs> and it's good fucking music. I don't even have anything to link to, so. You have a Twitter. Sophie's yeah, adorable. <laughs> We love Sophie, love and sometimes Sophie. she posts pictures of her dogs. This is true. Okay, I guess people can follow me for dogs. Just for dogs. For the dog content. They're not going to understand any of the other content anyway. Aww. Okay, bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs> Subscribe and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like give me five stars. <laughs> Showing our age here. <laughs> Information in the sidebar. I've been oh. on this website too long. <laughs>